Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how you can quickly free up storage space on your Android phone. Let's get straight into it. I'm on my Android phone and looking at a page view of some of my apps. It's a quick job to free up some storage space on your phone, but it can be tricky to find if you've not tried it before. In this guide, I'll show you how to do that in five simple steps. I know that sounds like a lot, but I promise you we'll be done in less than three minutes. In order to free up any space on your Android phone, you need to open the Google Settings app. This is shown on screen, but if you can't see it on your phone, you can quickly find it by using the search bar at the bottom of the page. You can search for it by name. I'll tap on the app once to open it. We're now in the settings section of Android, but we need to dive a little deeper into settings. So I'm going to scroll down this page and I'm going to open the storage section. You'll see this gives us an indication of how much free space is remaining on the phone. On this new page, you'll see a breakdown of how much space is taken up across your apps, videos and system files on the phone. Android does provide a helpful tool that identifies the areas you can review to decide what you want to remove to increase your remaining storage. We can find that tool behind the free up space section shown at the top of this page. Let's tap on that once to choose it. We're now taken into the deletion area of storage management. It's here that you can decide what files you want to delete to free up space in your phone. Android helpfully groups the files into different types. At the top, you'll see that the phone has identified duplicate files and old screenshots, but you'll notice they don't appear to take up a great deal of space. To have the biggest impact on creating new storage space in your phone, I'd recommend you focus on two areas. Firstly, I'm going to suggest we look at the large files section. These selected files take up more than 6 gigabytes of storage, or nearly 5% of the total space available. If I choose that option, a thumbnail of all the large files is shown, and I can choose these individually if I wish, by tapping the small circle in the top left of the image. You can also just select all of the files by tapping in the items option in the top right of the page. Android confirmed that all files have been selected. To delete these files, I'll tap the button at the bottom of the page. It's important to note that those large files have only moved to your trash folder and they are still on your phone. Although they will be permanently deleted in 30 days, you can free up the space now by going to your trash folder and choosing to delete them immediately. I'll return to the deletion area. The second area I want to focus on is the list of unused apps. These are apps on your phone that you haven't used for six months or more. You'll see there are over nine gigabytes of storage space used by them alone. If I tap into that section, Android lists out the apps and you can select which of those you want to delete just by tapping on the circle on the right of each app. If I then tap the uninstall button at the bottom of the page, the phone walks you through the deletion of each app. You're then returned back to the deletion area. You can continue to work through the selected file groups in this section to further increase the amount of storage space your phone has available. I hope you find this Woggle guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like this video or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thank you for watching and do look after yourself until next time.